yo guys before the video starts uh this guy that i'm coaching is a plat 3 uh sentinel main for the most part i told him in the video that he should probably focus on uh picking a smaller agent pool and yeah we looked at mainly killjoy but also cypher on fracture so make sure you guys subscribe leave a comment in the comments below if you want to be coached for free leave your discord tag and yeah joy yo hello hello hey what's up i'm good how are you Okay, um, so yeah, we can, you can screen share a game for the people watching, um, you play, you say you play a lot of stuff, but you want to focus on Killjoy Cypher? Yes. Okay, so perfect. I mainly fill in whatever thing first. Right, yeah, filling is good, um, filling is a good thing to do, so, but I've played a little bit of Cypher, so I should be able to help you with Sentinels overall, um, I have a good idea of how we kind of positioning works for them but i'll just kind of watch see how you play and um yeah all right so should i queue for some competitive match? yeah you can go for it do you have any other questions so mainly i feel like i struggle with game sense time game uh, sense sort of stuff. yeah Okay, um, I'll just take a look at how you're playing, um, and I'll, usually I can pick up, like, a few specific things, if someone improves, it helps them a lot, so, I'll look for something like that, and then, after the game, we can go, and I'll show you in a custom game, make it a little easier. Okay, sure, sure. And if you have any questions, or, like, things you want to talk about while you're playing, you can mention them as well. Usually I let you play during the round, and then I'll, I'll talk after the round, or sometimes I'll say a few things during the round. Yeah, I watched a few videos of yours. Uh, so, you mainly make coaching guides on duelists, right? Yeah, yeah, that's you why. Mean, like, did yeah, you could ever branch out into something. Yeah, did you, you did, did, did. did you see my um my poll for like the Sentinels thing? Yes, yes. Yeah. I was the first one to comment. <laughs> yeah, perfect. So that's why I did that, because I... I think I help a lot of duelists, but maybe not so much with uh, sentinels or other rules, which I could definitely help yeah. for. Yeah, so what I understood was, you know, mainly all these get mains and rain changed a lot, right? And the only way that I found to make a good impact on the match, like by helping my team to master sentinels and all these controller agents. So that's what I've been trying to do. Yeah, so basically what he said, because your mic's a little choppy, um, what he said was, like sentinels is what he has to eat. i'm guessing you fill a lot yeah um yeah so that's definitely this is like how a lot of people play they like filling i personally like insta locking it's just how i play but um you insta lock a sentinel which is obviously good for the video um but filling is also yeah. very good so this map's quite good for cypher do you usually play just i, I guess sentinels as sentinel you usually want to play just one site because um yes yes uh so with cypher i play a mainly Okay. Oh, uh, while defending, yeah. And yeah, so... Another thing, uh, another thing that I kind of struggle with is, you know, like, what do I do uh, when we are attacking, apart from watching the flank? Yeah. So basically, your job on attack is any character. Mainly, well, the only thing that differs on attack is for duelists, and for duelists, they need to take space. For a sentinel, mm -hmm. you can hold the spike. You don't have to hold the spike, but you want to put trips for flank, and you don't want to die, because if you die, your trips die as well with you now. So you need to think yeah, about yeah. that. Um, but for defense, I'll look at where you put your trips. We'll talk about attack if you get attack first. For this map, it's especially yeah. weird because there's like four places you can go. So putting trips, you only have two trips. So you have to pick which ways you want to trip and, you know, so. Yeah, so I ask in the beginning of the round where we are going. And then based on that, I put my trips for flank. That's a good strategy for sure. Um, you can do that. You can, you don't really need to place stuff like... So, for example, if you're attacking on, like, one side, like, the front side of the map, you don't really need to go to either side to put trips. You can get flanked. Oh, wait. Well, now we're not playing Fracture, but that's fine. Yeah. Um, obviously, each map is played different for Cypher, depending on on the map, but okay, Breeze. a good map for Cypher. Yes. Um, B site, particularly, of course, is... Oh, never mind again. But honestly, Breeze one of my least favorite maps. So, 
uh, I have hated Brief when it came out, but somehow like I started liking it now. Yeah. I think that's the case with everyone. I hate Fracture. I like Fracture. I I don't. I wouldn't say I like Breeze, but I don't like hate it or anything. I guess. Mm-hmm. I just really dislike Split and Icebox mainly. Yeah, I've been doing really well on Icebox lately. I've been playing Sage. Yeah. That's a really good pick. So it seems like you like filling, um, and mm-hmm. that's really really good because whenever you fill, whenever you pick a character like Sage on something like Icebox. Sage is one of the best agents you can pick on Icebox for her defense, so if you can learn to master her specifically on that map, that's very, very good. And this is why yeah, filling so... can be so good. This is my favorite map. Yeah, mine too. So this is also good for Cypher, and you can play either set you want. Or Killjoys, yeah, even probably better. But also preference. Yeah, so uh, what I do is, if the map is very expansive, then I pick Cypher. Otherwise... I, I pick Killjoy. If the map is very what? Expansive, like expansive, big. like big. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, so yeah. Wh- where do you do you always play the same site, defend the same site if you're on defense as Killjoy, or do you swap it up on this map? Uh, with Killjoy, I usually play both the sites depending on you know where they're pushing. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Um. But with Typher, I usually tend to stick to one side. So the main things I'll look for is like where what your turret's watching and where you put your other abilities as well, and then like kind of where you play from. Because um, for me, I'm also kind of taking notes. I have a good idea of how Sentinels play, but as a duelist, obviously, you kind of position yourself a little differently. Yes, yes. Um, but we'll take a look at that for sure. Chamber is also a really really cool character. Um, I don't know it's if you teleport. I feel like is a better hero teleport. Yeah, it's it's an interesting ability. It's it's capped by range a little bit, but true, true. It, it's it's quite nice though, and his guns are really good. I, I was a Yoru fanatic for quite a while. Yoru is sick, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you are defending. That's good. Do you usually get like plat players or plat games for the most part? Yeah, yeah. It's around plat two, plat three, most of them. Okay. I've ranked up to plat 3 today. Nice, is that your peak? Yeah, yeah, this is my peak. I've been hard stuck plat 1 for like 2 acts now. Very good. You're gonna hit diamond soon, for sure. Ho- hopefully. Do you, so you fill how many characters you say, like 5 or 6, or just less than that maybe? Like 4? Mm, so all the Sentinels and uh, Astra. Uh, and, uh, like 5-ish? Brimstone. Six. Uh, KO. Okay. Yeah. Wait, what do you buy on pistol run? So. Just... Yeah, that's this good. Is my... Turret. This is a good spot for turret. I put my turret here. Yep. If they're rushing lane, I put one here. You can actually put it behind the wall there. Oh, you mean here? Uh, behind, like where the switch is. To, in the okay. corner, like to the right of that wall. Okay. Yeah, exactly. And then it, it can't be shot as easily anyway. Sure, sure. So you're playing CT. They have mid open right now. Oh, uh, let me turn on my watch comms. So. Good. Okay. Looks like they might come out here. Oh. Could be to the left. I would rotate. Spike planted. Last player standing. Oof. Yeah. It's just a matter of time before she did that, unfortunately, but Yeah. I mean good shots overall. So here you can probably I don't know, it's hard to say where they're gonna go, but they could still come be for sure. Um, mm-hmm. uh, what do you buy here? Do you buy anything? No, no, no. Second round, if you lose, I do a hard save. Okay. Um, I would, su- I would consider buying, like, some abilities or maybe, like, a shorty. You don't have to spend all your money, but it's good to use, like, some of your money for something. I think an alarm would make sense. Yeah, that's good. The reason that is because you really only need 
1500 credits. And there's four there. One's coming up mid. That's right. Uh, whenever you picked out the smoke, I would have waited a little longer, probably. So they. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Also, I was hoping to cast them off guard, but yeah. Yeah. Do you, Do you always play uh, CT as Killjoy here? Uh, one second. For some reason, the game volume is too loud. Yeah. You were saying? Um, you only sit in CT, like whenever you play Killjoy on this map. Do I play CT? Do, do you only oh, play CT? CT? Yeah, do you only play from CT in, in this uh, setup? Uh, not necessarily. Okay, I think it's good to I, swap I don't up, really... is my point. So yeah. I would put your abilities. As Killjoy, you always want to have your stuff set up, for sure. You can sit in some cheese spots. Yeah, that's fine. You can sit on sites really good. Or stairs. Okay. You can start... You can walk CT here. Because <clears throat> it looks like they might be going Kata. Hey? Your sub is watching that. You can rotate. That's Spike. Did you gun out? Oh, never mind. That's your omen watching that. Can be walking up. Your tray. Um, I would have maybe gone like lower. It doesn't really matter where you go, but that's just where I would have gone. Also, yeah, the rain is probably. I mean, she's not. So this time, make sure you set up your stuff, all your stuff, a little earlier. And then yeah, as, you're, as you're setting your stuff up, think about where you want to position yourself, pretty much always. Mm -hmm. And try to think about... Um, think about playing in spots where you might catch your enemy off guard. Instead yeah. of like, uh, playing the same spot. Okay. I like that setup. They haven't gone there yet, but... Also, I think your team is mm -hmm. saving, but... Yeah. Okay, I would play stairs here, but you do have your setup. You know, you'll know when they're out. You can peek. That's smoked. Yeah, so I would say the problem here with this is that you're playing CT, and if you think about it, like, you have a good setup with your abilities, but uh, you kind of give them access to the site for free, mm -hmm. um, which is yeah. fine if you want to retake, but I think if you play on site, it's a little yeah. bit better, or, like, yeah. back site. Yeah. yeah. It basically, you're basically, like, an anchor as a sentinel. Mm -hmm. And you know that, of course. Right. Okay, that's your third turret spot. I like that you have different spots for your turret. Yeah, like uh, switching it up kind of. It's okay to play CT when you have your ult, by the way. You can get ready to rotate, walk towards CT. Because your, your turret is watching that, so you don't have to hold that. They can rotate, but your omen's flanking from cat, so. One could be tiles. They're gonna come out A most likely though. You can. They know that one's mid, so they're gonna expect one from here. You can let your omen go first, since they already saw him. <clears throat>
Nice shot, you have a turret? Yes, I have ult, but you don't have to use it for now. Oh my god, that is so stupid. I shouldn't have done that. That's fine. I, I did like the you put your turret out. Oh, they stacked that anyway. Uh, I mean, the alarm bot plays, it's a good thought, but yeah, you're right, you probably shouldn't have done that yeah, there. Yeah, like, I was very out in the open. Yeah, so now you want to think about using your ult ASAP, so... Uh, it's good to use your ult as soon as you can. If you can use it to stop a push or to retake a site, either one's fine. So put down your other abilities, though. Yeah, he has that lockdown. You can use ult for retake on B. Or you can use it to just stop them. Go, maybe mark it. Uh, yeah, I'll just, can... I'll just pop your ult. That's okay. Um, Hit him. Open the map. You could have ulted from market. Um... Ooh. You could have ulted from oh. market, or you see in CT where there's like the little corner to the left of where this guy is right now. Yeah. To the left of that. Yeah. Actually, yeah, maybe that's too far actually. I think the market one's a little better. Basically, you should have ulted sooner because they're, the Reyna wouldn't have been that far up. And then by the okay. time she was walking up, you would have been able to kill her most likely. Yeah. This is unfortunately a rough game though, but that's okay. And uh, I'm very distracted. <laughs> yeah, I could talk a little less if you want me to. No, no, no. <clears throat> you can sit in the switch. I would just play like maybe a little. Yeah, this is good. This is... market's good because you have ult. Call B. Get ready to ult if they're gonna come out here. Hold your ult out. Yep. Good job. They're gonna run here. You can see if they're peeking. Rotate, maybe? Tay. They might come back though, it could be a fake. Probably not though. Probably gonna come A. Like, it could have just been him, actually, and they could be B. No, they're not. They're there. Don't be scared. You, your team's got the trade. Tell yourself to go first, maybe. He's low. <clears throat> Eight bullets. Give turret soon. Yeah, so, um, I would say the one thing there. I would have recalled your turret a little sooner so you could use it to go out heaven, but the main thing there is that um, I would have tried to hold for whoever wants to defuse on your team and just keep your gun out. Um, okay. You're kind of like, you're behind Jin. You're, I don't, I don't mm -hmm. think you're scared, but you're just kind of like, you're not in a great position to help defend your um, your diffuser, which basically you need to get the diffuser or you would lose the round. Right. Mm -hmm. Get your util you down. Yeah, this is a good alarm, but might be tiles.
Sova and Killjoy tiles. So your Omen's in a really good spot. You could bait for him. One more toward B. Could be top cat. To your left, careful. You know one's toward B though. Good job, you guys got the run. Yeah, uh, you play a little aggressive there, but that's okay. Uh, I wanted to trade. Yeah. No, yeah, it's fine. Um, how about I, I really want to teach you uh, like better spots you can play here because there's definitely you can play okay. in the corner on switch. Uh, even though you're killjoy, it's okay because you have your turret. Yeah, right there. You can also play logs. I know logs seems like it's not a good spot sometimes because it seems maybe like it seems like it's obvious, but you'd be surprised. People don't always clear it. If the random flashes, don't shoot it. Okay. So you know, sky's there. Just have patience. Don't shoot the first person you see unless they're looking at you. She's gonna blind you here. Just have patience. Oh, that's really unfortunate. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, you definitely get the kill there. Normally. Yeah, for sure. You play uh, any like aim lab or aim trainer or anything? Mm. I I recently did a bit of Kovac for uh, a day or two, and then I left it. Okay. I think that's important. Actually, with most people, their aim isn't a problem. I don't. I think. Um. I don't think your aim's bad, but I think your aim could improve a little bit, for sure. I think the thing that's taking you to plat three is not your aim. I'll put it that way. Okay. Um, I'm not saying your aim's bad, but I think that's the one yeah, yeah. one okay. of the things you should improve on for sure. Yeah. Because it seems like you have good awareness, um, for the most part. Also, I want to tell you this at the beginning of the game. I think it's good to focus on like only two or three agents. I know you like to fill, but you can fill just like two or three agents, maybe, or maybe four mm -hmm. max. But like any more yeah. than that, you're kind of handicapping yourself. Yeah, that's true. That's that's definitely true. Yeah. Like some of the agents that I'm not very familiar with, I spend most of the time trying to decide what to do. Yeah, because like, yeah, yeah, instead of instead of putting your uh your brain power into like winning the game you're trying to like learn or trying to like figure out how to master a new agent not necessarily new but like agency or lust leave you use less yep this is a good spot that i told you to use this is really good if they come out this is unfortunate see he doesn't even check that corner you have to go for kills you have five four seconds oh that's actually pretty good that's like probably best scenario this guy's gonna heal him though and he got he got the omen because you let him. Yeah, yeah. If he had a better gun, you would have killed both of them, I think, too. Yeah, if I placed it a bit higher as well, my crosshair. Yeah. So those two spots, you see how they're good now, right? Mm -hmm. So there's spots like that on any site on any map, but now you can't really use those spots again because yeah, yeah. They know you play them. I'll, yeah, they'll probably spam it the next round. Exactly, or they're they're gonna clear it with the drone because he didn't even check it with the drone, so. This is really this is just a, a team diff though. <clears throat> uh, it's around one AM over here, so I think like there's a lot less people trying to queue. Yeah, so that makes sense. The teams are uh, a bit mismatched. unbalanced. But yeah. But, yeah. It happens. Soon you'll have a game that's the opposite as well, where you're going nine one. That's just how it goes. So yeah, playing market's always a good idea. Um, playing site, you're always playing site, so. Yeah. Basically, you see how you can see lane from here? You don't really need to peek this, because you have a specter. Yeah, so this is really mm -hmm. good. Once you hear them, they're going to go out, you can rotate. They, these guys don't fake. If you realize that the enemy team doesn't fake, they're just steamrolling you guys, so they're not going to fake. Yeah, they're hard rushing every side. Yeah, exactly. So if you know the team does that, you don't need to see if someone's coming B still. Oh my Damn. god. That guy. Oh, there's another one, Cat, too.
You guys can get one more. And you have ults, so try to position yourself for a good ult. They, I feel like they might come B, honestly. But, I guess it's hard to say, they're just steamrolling. You're ready to rotate. Yeah, rotate. You can tell you can tell your team you're gonna retake retake with ult maybe. They're gonna push you though. Yeah, he's gonna push. Can ult It's okay. The kill on the Rhino is good, but I would have backed up and ulted to because if you ult, they have to push you, or they have to leave sight, which is really good. True, true, true. And I, I was... assumed there was only one guy heaven. So yeah, yeah. I went for it. I would assume that everyone on their team right now is going to play like a madman. Like, they're all going to push cause, because of the scoreline, 11-1. Yeah. to one. They're very confident. Yeah, exactly. They think that they're just going to kill everyone, pretty much. Honestly, you might go nano swarms here. That might be better because think about what you want to do here. You're likely going to get the plant down. Well, maybe not. Who knows? But if you get the plant down, you can just throw your nano swarms on the spike, or at least one of them. Right. Alarm bots is good too, but that's just my thought. Here holding the spike is good. Um, your one duelist is dying mid alone, which is kind of unfortunate. So now you have no more duelists, so you guys are going to have to somehow open up the fight, the site. Damn. What? Is that over overheal? <laughs> it's like literally just in time for her to live. But the good news is that I've noticed two main things that I can help you with that will probably get you to diamond within like a week or two. Okay. But we'll talk about it after this game. This guy looks like he's lagging. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Who's chamber. Lagging? Uh, this chamber. Yeah, yeah, he is, he is. Oh. He has pink bikes. You guys win this round, it's actually winnable, even though it's... You guys are down by a lot. You have to turn it up, though. Can they hear that when you put that down? Oh, this is crazy. Oh, okay. <laughs> Gandif. He was low. Um. Yeah, so also on this map, Whenever you're attacking, it's good to... I know this game's like a little bit different because you're just getting rolled, but... In a standard game, you can put your turret down like on B, and then it kind of just... If your team's like defaulting, you know what defaulting means? Uh, no. Defaulting is when like your team kind of spreads out and just sees if any enemies are going to peek or push. Mm -hmm. So if you're defaulting, you just kind of put your turret down yeah, up here. That's like a really good spot. I'm sure you know that. Um, mm -hmm. And that just covers the push for B main. So you don't really have to go B main, but you can. So now, now you can go mid, and if they push that, you'll know. Oh, okay. You guys can push mid. Oh, see, so now you know they're there. He might not push, though, because he did kill that.
could be in any of these corners on cat. Oh, uh, you closed off your spike. You open that. Oh. He had the spike. My yeah, bad. nah, it's all good. I would have tried to kill the Sova, honestly, but yeah, that's okay. But yeah, the two main things. Uh, uh yeah, go ahead. Uh, no, I was saying uh, uh, I thought the Reina was gonna push. Yeah. Um, she uh, she got a lot of kills there with the Marshall, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, the you can stop streaming now. Um, the two biggest things I noticed, or one I already told you, was I think your aim could use a little improvement. Um, so basically, you can use aim lab; it's free. You can also use Kovacs if you already have that. All you really yeah. need to do is play like ten minutes before you play, and within like a week, you'll see you'll start to feel. Your aim is very good, and by doing this, it'll give you more confidence. And that leads me to my other thing that I think you could uh, improve on is your indecisiveness or like lack of a little slight lack of like confidence. Um, obviously, as a sentinel, you don't want to be peeking like everything. Right. But it, like I could tell, like whenever you're rotating, you kind of went between wanting to rotate and not wanting to rotate like multiple times. Mm -hmm. And it's important to, you know. It's important to be decisive, even if, even if you think there's a chance you might be making the wrong choice. It's a, it's better to make a wrong choice than to m not make a choice at all. Right, right, yeah. So I think that's something I struggle with, like even that's, with utility management. Yeah. I, I take a split second to decide if I should use it or not. By that time, I get killed. Yeah. Especially with K or something, especially with the flashes. You know? Yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll give you a few a few rules of thumb, um, but basically. Whenever, yeah, I'll just get in game here so we can think about like specific scenarios. My okay. is ready. Um. So, first, I'll just talk about all the stuff you did. So these placements are good. Basically, one thing, this isn't that big of a deal. Um, but make sure you get all your stuff placed like early in the round, so you can think about other stuff. Like this should just be automatic. Like wherever you're gonna place your turret, place it. So you have. You did this spot, you did this spot over there, and you did up here. These are all really good spots. I would say I would say that this one over here and this one up here are the two best. This is good situationally. So this is good because it covers the walkout, and this also covers yeah. this, so they can't get to the left side. Um, yeah. That's very good. So I told you one like this. This is really good here just because like, they can't shoot it at all. Yeah. And it still gets... I mean, it doesn't get as big, but I mean, it's still pretty good. Mm -hmm. Um, and you can also go like this. And then, okay. yeah, also, you don't need to do that. What you, what were you doing was fine, so. And alarm bot, of course. So basically, about your positioning. Um, this spot, whenever you play there, that was just unlucky. But, basically, um, this spot here is really good, this spot's really good. I, the reason I'm saying that is because I noticed you playing in CT a lot. And I think that's a really big problem, because playing CT is generally not good unless you're uh, like trying to ult or something mm -hmm. um, because what you do is like whenever you're getting pressured and say that you get like smoked yeah. right here they essentially they have control of the site by doing this like yeah you can pop your traps but like after the traps they're gonna make it to site or if it's a jet she's gonna dash to site True. so spots I would suggest that you can play uh, like right here is really good find this uh, stairs right here is really good uh, but you have to have patience here I wouldn't one thing I noticed you peek a lot, uh, like but not consistently, so what I would do is just kind of wait and listen. And remember, you have your turret, right? So if your turret's here and you, and it, it starts shooting, then after it starts shooting, you can peek. That's the that's one of the biggest uh, upsides of playing Killjoy, is that you can do that. Also, the alarm bot does the same thing. So if you want to wait until the tur turret's down and then your alarm bot goes off, you can peek off that. But remember, if you swing like this, or you just hold it, you might get swung by like yeah. multiple people and die because that's not a favorable fight for you to take. Cool. Um, you can also from stairs hold like this if you don't want to peek over here. So, yeah. so yeah, this spot, yeah. this spot, and then back here. This is obviously very good. So this is like the opposite of playing CT. CT, you give up the site. This spot, 
they're not taking the site until they kill you. So if you can get two kills here at least, or even if you can just trade, it sets up your team. I mean, generally you want to get at least two, but if you can at least stall, because sometimes you can play around this thing right here as well, and it's really good. Um, so yeah, I would suggest playing this spot. You can play in the corner here. And the last spot that I'll show you is just under this. This might seem like a really weird spot, but if you walk out like this, you see, I really don't look there, and I, I don't think to look there for the most part, unless you're a very high-ranked player. Because um, you're usually focused where you're focused here, and you're focused over there, and you can't see them right here. So you can crouch like this, and you can also activate your... Yeah, and a charge is good too, I guess, in this situation. What'd you say? A charge. A shotgun? Oh yes, a shotgun. Um, A shotgun or, I mean, any closer range weapon, like if you're playing eco round, and you have a specter. Because remember you were playing for a market over here, yeah. and you have a specter. Yeah. People with yeah, Vandal or Phantom, yeah, it's it's not not the best for you, so. Playing sight with a worse weapon is better. And then, as a duelist, you can peek here, but you don't really want to do that as Killjoy. So, uh, this is also a very good spot. Um, I was showing you, you can sit and watch like this. Mm -hmm. Because whenever they're here, yeah. they're not looking toward you, most the, most likely. Most likely, they're going to be looking towards yeah. sight somewhere. Um, yeah, so, yeah. in this case, you can just shoot them in the back of the head. As opposed to just holding like this. Because like, whenever they peek right here, where they're going to be looking is directly at you. And you don't really want to... You don't want to die, because then your all your utility goes down. Cool. And so for ult spots on B, this is a really good one. Uh, oh, I didn't know if this one... Actually, I don't know if this is really good. This is where my lack of sentinel knowledge, because you can see they can sit back here. Yeah. I, th yeah. I think this is okay if they're in B main. Right. Because it forces them to either commit all the way to back here, and if you already have someone on site, that's really good. Mm. And also, you can put um, you can com com combine this with your nano swarms, like over here, and these spots. But I don't know how good this is. This is what you have to be creative about, though, as Killjoy. So obviously, this is pretty good ult, I think, as long as they don't push you. Um, and then mm -hmm. probably the best ult that you see, I think, is from back here. Yeah. Because they have to commit, or they just have to wait and leave. And most likely they're just mm. gonna leave. So, and then for attack, you, you know, you just kind of ult like this. I think you can ult on top of this. But yeah, yeah. yeah so um, I'm guessing you know those. We didn't get to see you play much on attack, but I will go over. Go ahead. Do you have any questions about B? That kind of summarizes B, I think, for how I want you to play it. Uh, yeah, no. I think that was a pretty good explanation. Like yeah, explain where I was lacking. Yeah. I yeah, but uh, um, reasonable all of what you've told. Also, one more thing that I, you, I, you go ahead. Mm -hmm. No, no, I was just saying that it, it is indeed true that I don't play site. I usually play in, in spots where I could get away easily. Yes, I want you to right. definitely think about this on other maps as well, because whenever, mainly whenever you play Sentinel, so any Sentinel, Cypher, Killjoy mainly, but also like right. Sage, you really want to think about playing towards site. If you're playing Duelist, you don't really like. Playing here is actually fine, or peeking here is fine, because like your life isn't worth as much as the Sentinel. But mm -hmm. another thing that I noticed is like you'd come here, you'd you'd be you'd not already mentioned this, but I think you're lacking in like knowing when you should rotate. So like I'd see here, mm -hmm. you would kind of go like yeah. this or something, and I'd be like, yeah, yeah. you know, just pick one. So basically, how you know to pick one or not? Think if you have no one else on B site and you're the only one defending it, you probably want to play toward B. So that means don't go past. Yeah. Don't leave like market, like stay market and try to watch B because obviously, you know, your abilities also have a range. They have a radius that you have to be in right. for them to work. Yeah. So if you run rotate all the way around, make sure that when you rotate that they're actually the whole team's over here. So, okay. but if you do like th that last team, again, they didn't fake, but sometimes teams like to fake. So if you know the enemy team fakes, don't be as quick to rotate. Mm -hmm. So those are some tips, but obviously it's very situational and you just have to get a feel for it. So, but yeah, that's one thing. That's one of the th things. That's one of the things I mean by indecisiveness for yeah, you. Yeah. So like one of the reasons why I was doing that was I was hoping that, you know, I'd be still like when I do that, I'm still in the range of my target. So I was hoping to, you know, yeah, like catch someone yeah, that's working. Activate. Yeah. 
yeah so i was like yeah spending okay. my time there to see some of this yeah but yeah what you said is it did from yeah that's that's completely fair um basically if you see if you hear like two or three people i wouldn't full rotate but i'd start to get ready to like i'd be like here getting ready to rotate and then if there's still yeah. if there if you see, if you see someone like out here then i would just rotate cuz even if it's just a fake at that point someone's running out the site like you know so you don't yeah. want to you want to try to help them hold site and also, and also if you're yeah go ahead mm -hmm. yeah as i was about to say like playing market or mid would make sense in that scenario yeah exactly market is uh, super favorable for killjoy just cuz uh, it allows you to if if your turret sees someone here you can kind of peek off of it still and also you can hold mid if you don't have someone holding mid. This spot right here is very very good. Mm -hmm. And also like right here is really good. So also if you're rotating from B to A. Mm -hmm. uh, you can ult. One of the best killjoy ults is like right here. Yeah. Because usually the door is closed here. So you know you just pop your ult and then it clears out all of sight. And they have to be over here or like out, out here. Mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, like all the way out, all the way back here. Yeah, yeah um, they'll either try to push the door or like usually they fall back. Yeah, one thing you can do before you ult is if the door's down, you can put a an alarm bar right here and then ult. So if they're going to push, you'll know. But also mm, yeah. careful of like here. Because sometimes I like to sit like right here whenever I'm uh, playing on attack. I come up cat mm -hmm. and then I either, sometimes I'm really sneaky and I sit right here. And right. I'll just wait, cause then I know they're I know they're gonna have to shoot to break the door, so I'll wait till they shoot, and then I'll just come behind them. But in plat, you probably don't really need to worry about that very much. But I would clear right here, and at least take a look at cat and see if they're there, and then you can put the alarm bot, and then ult, and then you're home free to retake. So other than that, if you don't have your ults, going heaven is pretty good. You don't have to go heaven, but the reason going heaven is pretty good is because you can. Oh, also whenever you rotate, make sure you pick up your. Um, your turret, because you can use it to retake. Right, so, right, yeah. you can do this, and then, obviously your turret's not going to kill anyone, but what it does do is it helps you, like, someone's going to have to shoot this, or else they're going to, like, they're going to be slowed by it. That's the best part about this, is that it slows people, they get shot by it, so, you're going to, so if someone shoots, you'll be able to hear where they are, so you'll be able to call that for your team. Yeah. So, if they shoot from there, then you'll see, they're, one's gen, you know? And whereas yeah. if you didn't use your turret, you wouldn't have that information. And that information is valuable for your team. So sure. that's something you can do at pretty much anywhere. Like if you're here and you're rotating from A to B, you yeah. can put your turret out here, see if there's someone yeah. like here, yeah. here or something, yeah. you know. Yeah. Yeah. And if they don't shoot it, then you can assume that they're playing yeah. passive and waiting or that they're just hiding. So right. so for, uh, for spots here, where do you put stuff usually? Uh, so I put one right next to the entrance. Uh, I mean the alarm bot. Right here, here. Uh, either side, you know. Okay, okay. yeah. Uh, this is good. Is hard to shoot. Yeah. I think this is better because usually they're gonna come this way to switch. So. Yeah. And then nano so, Uh, one right at the entrance. Yeah, somewhere over there, and then towards the default plant. Um. I think like this might be good. Yeah. This one, the thing about these, like, um, it's kind of goes like. Like I usually don't have good molly spots because it's very vast, right? Yeah. Compared to be where you're forced to go down a narrow path. So like, yeah. I, I'll decide. I'll decide based on how they are, you know, moving once they enter the site. If they're going towards, you know, closing the door, I usually put it near the door. You know, yeah, that's actually that's door. really good. Actually, I forgot yeah. about that. You can just. Uh, Throw in like this. Actually, I think it'd be better if you threw on this side. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, they're pretty similar. So yeah, the one behind the wall is probably better. So this is good as well. The, the thing about these is that it's kind of like whenever you play a spot, whenever you play like a sneaky spot, like once, the enemy team will adapt and then they'll start to expect it. So with these nano storms, they're also going to start to expect it after you use it like once or twice. So... Um, you have to get creative. That's the thing with Killjoy. You have to get creative with these mollies. Yeah. And this is this is a creative one because they have to hit the switch. Or they don't have to, but most time teams will hit the switch. And whenever you hear the door closing, you can just pop it. Mm -hmm. um, also, alarm bot, honestly. Honestly, I'd put your alarm bot here most of the time. Yeah, yeah I do that too. Yeah, this is best. So like, like, most of the time, I watch short. 
so I don't put an alarm. Yeah. Yeah. So, wait. So you watch you watch cat like right here. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'll come here in a second. But I was gonna say, um, where do you put your turret? Uh, usually to the right over there. Here. On top of that, yeah. Oh, yeah, this yeah. is this is really good. Um, I think I think there's better. I don't play Killjoy, so it's weird. But if you have it right there, then you can. It watches Cat as well for short. Mm, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I so. That, but yeah, that, that makes sense. Yeah. So if you put it farther to the left, it'll see people here sooner rather than having to be all the way out here. Mm -hmm. And it also watches, of course, right here. So. Yeah. So the, now you see so you have these two abilities that are very powerful for holding down sight. This is why you're a sentinel. So you have this and you have this, and it covers everything that any way they can come to A, other than up yeah. mid like this and then flanking. So now you can pos position yourself however you want. Um, try not to fight too aggressively, but also don't be too indecisive as we've talked about. So how would you play cat here? Where would you go and how would you play it? Uh, so usually I play based on the sound cues I get. Yeah. So if they're rushing, I fall back to you know gardens, and okay. then I play from here passively. Uh, I'll call for a rotate or something like that. Yeah. This way I'll watch both you know. Yeah. The A main push as well as someone going to A main tag. Okay. Um. This is good. Or if. Yeah. Also, um. Remember that your turret is watching this, so. It, this is actually mm -hmm. fine. This is a good. This is a really good angle, honestly. So one thing yeah, I like, would. I what they do is they usually smoke uh, the door, right? So what I do is yeah. I just spam that area. So okay. So I play that position. Yeah. Another thing that is a little risky, but you can do this. You can pop the mollies. If you have one on door, probably don't do this. But if they do smoke this and then they pop the molly, you can come out like this and sneak through, kill one, and then maybe run back, okay. or you can just continue pushing. But it's better to just try to kill the person here only if this is smoked, because yeah. Mm -hmm. But also, you can sit right here and just wait, because sometimes people like to hit the switch and then push under before it closes. Yeah, yeah. And you have you have this if they're going to push uh, from cat, so... Uh, yeah. Also, I just thought of something. Instead of putting it in that corner, I would put it right here. Because this spot right here is incredible. This spot's really, really good. Also, you, yeah, you can yeah. put your turret like, up here so that you have a little more safety. Because if they come out here, you're going to be trapped here for a sec. But okay. this this spot, like you wouldn't, if you were to push th from here, would you, would you clear this? Yeah, like I've learned to clear it, but I've seen enemies just rushing through. Yeah, Let's definitely. This yeah. is definitely something that a lot of people don't check. Is my point. Um, um, yeah. yeah, yeah. So another one, another spot is right here. This is this is a little more risky for a sentinel player, but this is a really good spot because I actually saw you walk up here and you didn't place your crosser here, but you did clear this corner. So, um, uh, this is like, it, it was like, it's in the field of vision when you're uh, yeah, yeah. watching the entrance, right? So I didn't necessarily. Yeah. So the, the thing is, if you're up here like this, mm -hmm. usually how I would do it is kind of like this. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. So, I don't do that, yeah. yeah, yeah. So like, so the thing is, right? Like it is in your field of vision, but like if someone's mm -hmm. actually there, what do you have to do? You have to hit a crazy flick like this. Whereas if you're just kind of like pre-aiming it, yeah, then you know like, it's. I've never encountered uh, anyone play over. Yeah, this so is. I don't uh, do that, but yeah. yeah. Yeah, I wanted to show you this because this is one of my favorite spots, and people, I can always catch people off guard here, and it's so just it's really good. Kind of like an off angle out in the open. Yeah, exactly. Like you can play this off angle, but people expect yeah. you to be in that corner, so it's a little harder yeah. to yeah, not get cleared in. So mainly just this one and this one. They're really, really good. Okay. Um, and also, of course, you said that spot you play, so that's good. And then this one, that's another one. Um, I wouldn't peek since you're playing Killjoy. You can sit back here. Mm -hmm. You can sit here, hell, you can sit up top. But again, those are becoming more passive. I, w I think playing like toward there is really good, honestly. Uh, mm -hmm. Unless they're just five manning from yeah. here every time. Yeah. Then you want to take a more uh, anchor spot on site, like how maybe or I think here's probably best, honestly, just because you have you can see switch, kill switch, and then you can use like your nano storm to help push people in a certain direction, something like that. Um, so for mid, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. 
and anything else you're afraid? Like, you know, uh, when I usually play Chen, they either have a raise or a sova with them. So somehow find out that I'm there and they throw a nade or a shock that. So I usually don't play Chen for that reason. Yeah. Are you, do you mean because they will break your stuff? Uh, no, like uh, Sova usually drones or uh, he throws a, you know, the revealing dart and they find out that I'm there, right? And then they yeah. easily trap me. So oh, okay. That's why, yeah, I play yeah. in regions where I can get away easily. Yeah, so, so that is that is the problem with playing here. Maybe, um, you could, one thing, the way to counter darts is like you can do this, but obviously you can't like counter a nade, so. Mm -hmm, um. Yeah. And, I think and I'm forced to come out to the open and then, then they kill me. This is a good spot, but this is one of the spots that you really only want to play like once, probably. Okay. Uh, this is also really only good if they're pushing like fat hard A main yeah. instead of cat, because uh, yeah, the problem with giving up cat is that you give them access yeah. to come here, and whenever you're attacking, this is a really this is not something I really want to teach you because you're not a duelist. But if you do play duelist, you can push up here like this, and this is just a really incredible spot to be in, because a lot of times people just run through here and they won't even be thinking about someone being here. Yeah, so. yeah. I, I unintentionally do that when I, you know, push, push up cat. Yeah, it's really a good spot. Uh, you can also go th yeah. through there if the glass is broken. Um, but yeah, that's kind of A, that's wrapping up A. Um, okay. For mid, you did the right thing here. This is a really good alarm bot. Um, I'm not sure if there's any other variants of it, but right there is really good. You don't really need to put a turret unless you're gonna put it like over there. Usually, put a turret toward a site because your your job is to lock down a site. You don't really care much about mid as a sentinel. That's mainly for other like controller or a duelist. Maybe you can play here and hold it, but you definitely don't want to be peeking this. You don't want to die. So yeah, um, I, I don't play mid at all. I just put my alarm bot. That's the max I do. With that being said, uh, I did see you play market, so yeah, like I said, this is really good here. This spot, on top of this, this is actually a ramp, so you can shift to walk up it, and you'll make noise. Oh. So, you can sit like this, and again, this is like the spot on cat up here. Yeah. And so, like people sometimes clear this corner, but again, if they're doing like this, then they're going to have to flick up to, to get your head. So it's just like an elevation. Right. A nice elevation right, right. and so this is uh opposed to like holding mid this is just good for helping you if you need to hold mid and no one else on your team is doing it but mm -hmm. generally if putting your attention toward a site yeah. or b site i mean um okay, okay. you want to talk about attacking i don't know if that's as relevant to you but maybe a couple of yeah. things like your turret placement here is really good yeah so that's like a common spot so i do that often mm -hmm. but uh I only tend to do that if we peek, right? Like you said, if, if we go de default, right? I, I put the, the turret wherever I go. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's. I mean, you obviously have to do that because your, um, because your range, like you can see the, the radius whenever I pull out the thing. Yeah. But, um, so yeah, you can't really place this and then run to A, but you, with that being said, you can place it and then go like mid a little bit before it goes down. Hmm. So, yeah, yeah. Think uh, about, I do that as well. Yeah, it's good to understand why this is good, because... It works like that. Yeah, yeah, cause like this, you have this range here that you can go. And so this allows you to safely take fights in mid without your team having to worry about getting flanked. Unless it gets right. smoked or something. But right. hopefully you'll, you'll notice that if that happens. But So the same thing applies on any map. It applies over here on A site. I uh, don't know where you put this normally, but, um, like, you can hold the A main push like this or something. Yeah. And then you can, you guys can fight mid again, walk up cat. You can also put, I wouldn't put it mid, because it's very likely to get shot. Usually people like to peek from right here. Mm -hmm. Um, but what this does is it basically just locks down, you know, this whole area for you. Yeah. And again, you can also, you don't have to use it like this, you can use it for flank. Like this. And then you guys are good to to push here because it's you're safe. And mm -hmm. as long as you don't push all the way up yeah. here too deep, so it's not out of range. Yeah. Or you I can. I to put it close to. Yeah, I put it. Yeah, I saw you do that one. Range, yeah. yeah. So you can move up a little farther on site. That's smart too. 
But then this one makes this one that you have to be a little more cautious because they can. Actually, no, this is fine. Yeah, they can just walk up to like here without yeah. being spotted. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the same ideas apply on any map really, but obviously each map plays differently. Yeah. Also, I wanted to make sure that I got the point across uh, that you you should try to cut down to like three or maybe four different agents for reasons yeah, that yeah. I think you can understand as yeah. you go. Um, I, I think I should definitely do that. Yeah, that's that's something that a lot of players do is they like to play a lot of agents. But what you should realize is that you'll get very, very good at, if, at agents if you play only a couple of them. And that just, logically, yeah. that just makes sense. Yeah. So, whereas if you were to play, like, every single agent, you're only going to be good at some of them, and some, they're going to be just be confusing to you. Mm -hmm. 100%. Um, so, yeah, you make your pick. It seems like you're pretty good on Killjoy. Maybe throw in, like, also, like, maybe pick, like, two Sentinels, and then maybe, like, a Controller or a Duelist, so you have a different role to swap onto, in case. Because you will get games where your role gets completely locked and you don't want too many sentinels, of course. Right. So you right. can still have that filling mentality, kind of. Yeah. But not like, not like fill every single agent type thing. Sure. So yeah, any other questions about this map or anything? Mm, like, uh, as you said, you've covered some important points. You know that I was uh, lagging on. Like, yeah. Uh, especially. Uh, the thing where I was playing very far behind, right? Like, I knew that I, like I was here. doing something wrong, but... Hello? I'm audible now? Yeah. Yeah, like, I knew I was playing from far behind, but I didn't know what I was doing wrong, right? So, you just told me that you need to push in and play in some obvious spots. And maybe I was trying to avoid playing in the obvious spots, you know? Because you don't want to die, probably. Killed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and so I've just resorted to playing to very safe spots, but... I, yeah, like this is like safe, said, but my point is yeah. it's too safe, and that's what you realized, so... Yeah. yeah. You I can even that, go into... We can go into another... You gonna... I, I have time for one more map if you want to do one more map and like a different agent. Um, yeah, sure. But you can think about like here and here. Yeah. These are two like spots that seem to like... like at first they obvious. seem like such yeah. obvious spots, but... Yeah. Again, Silva droned yeah. out right here. And he checked and he here. Didn't check he didn't check yeah, it. And then check. Yeah. someone was shooting here, but you got away with almost killing two of them. And you had a bulldog. Yeah. And if you had an actual gun, you'd have got two. And you probably you could have lived and maybe got more. So, yeah. but then again, the the biggest thing is you don't want to play them multiple times in a row. You want you need to swap it up. That's the important part. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's all about switching it up. Yeah, that's what I learned. Like this spot's okay, mm -hmm. but it's not great mm -hmm. for Sentinel. So yeah, you you understand that now though. So yeah, yeah. I don't. Um, like maybe we could do uh, cipher on fracture. Yeah, on sure. Attack, especially. Uh, attack, yeah. So this map is crazy. I kind of like it. Most people don't like it. Uh, also, I was gonna I like say. I like it when I play duelist. <laughs> yeah, I, I was gonna say. My problem is like the exact opposite of yours. I play too aggressive and I don't know. I mean, it's not that I don't know, but sometimes I just peek when I shouldn't peek and I know that. Uh, and a lot of it has to do with sometimes I get angry and then I'll just keep peeking even though I know I shouldn't. But yeah, yeah, yeah. obviously there's like a balance. You don't want to peek too much. And as a Sentinel, you really don't want to peek too much, but you need to position yourself not too mm -hmm. passive either. I have a tendency to do dumb things, like you said, due to the indecisiveness. Like I walk into the middle of the map and then try to put a enjoy bot somewhere. Oh yeah, that's another thing is oops. Yeah. It's like you try to put your alarm bot usually just try to take gunfights. You don't need to try to put your abilities uh unless you're behind cover and you know there's like no chance that someone will peek you. Mm -hmm. uh, that's pretty much all there is to that. But so how would you go about this? Where would you start? You said you'd ask your team where they're gonna go? Yeah, so if they say A, I'm gonna go put a tripwire at A, and then take the rope, go the other way, and put a tripwire for uh, dishes. So, I put two tripwires, and that's what I am. You put one, like, here somewhere? Uh, yeah, here. Uh, like... There? Yeah, rope. that one, yeah. I'll crouch and put one, yeah, right there, yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, oh, oh wait, oh wait, no, 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 I, I don't do that. Uh, I do that when I push dish, when I'm defending. Oh, okay. Is, yeah. Uh, like, can you go outside? Out here. Yeah. 
so no even below at the beginning of the slope yeah i put it somewhere around here like turn the other way around there's a flat surface yeah i put it here exactly yeah yeah don't I, I this is not i don't sometimes i don't have the best placement but i'm guessing you get the right placement so they can't jump over it uh -huh, um yeah, true. yeah um but so, yeah so this is where I put, yeah. yeah this is good so uh so we're assuming we're attacking this is where you'd put it yeah and then i'll push fish not okay exactly push i'll wait out outside um the one thing about this is that uh actually i don't know this is weird nah so like if you think about a jet or a, a raise, they can go if they if they see this, they can go up here. But hopefully, I guess you would hear them. Yeah, yeah. So uh, maybe that's the reasoning behind it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. That's cool then. If you already know about that, that's really cool then. Um. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that's another thing. Another way you can be creative, like we talked about being creative as Killjoy. This is how you can kind of be creative as Cipher. Mm -hmm. So. Put one over here. Yeah, as far as. So I don't really, I don't know, it's been a while since I've played Cypher, but how would you go about this now if you're attacking? So, like, I, I push up dish, like, I, I'll probably kill a person over here, and then, uh, yeah, right. And then I see my team pushing, right? So I'll throw a cage out. Yeah. So that, so, view is blocked. Cage yeah. Trigger. Something like that, Somewhere maybe? in the middle. Yeah, and I'll uh, also put a cam and... Like board. here, maybe? Uh, yeah. It, this area is usually smoked, right? This so is actually a really I good cam. cam. Yeah. Yeah. Because you can see. And then I'm. True, true, yeah. And then I'm marking instantly and it gets taken off. Like, they at least know. Yeah, like kind of where they shot from. Stuff. It's kind of just like yeah. the Killjoy turret, pretty much. If you get. Sometimes you'll get your cam off and you'll see where everyone is, but sometimes you'll just shoot it before you can see anything. But still, that like, gives mm -hmm. you info. Uh, but this is good. You can see, like, right into here. Uh, you, you can't. You don't know if they're behind this or in this corner or up here, but you have a good idea if you can't see anyone that they have to be like in this corner or behind one of these things. So. Yeah. Um. Also, this goes for pretty much any agent you're gonna play. If you get, if you have your ults, you wanna just pretty much use it. Don't use it in like a like a bad way, but try to use it as soon as you can in the most efficient way possible. So yeah, for cipher. So yeah, go ahead. Uh, I, I I use it to you know call a rotation. Like if I see that you know a lot of them are at A, then yeah, quickly go back B. Or if, they, yeah. if they're evenly spread out, then we come at A. Yeah, that's the that's the uh, really nice thing about Cypher is you can kind of make your whole your team's complete play off of it. So like if you see that there's three people yeah. over here and then there's only like one A, you guys just hard push A right. off of the ult. Um, so yeah, with Cypher it's not very hard to like be hesitant about your ult, you can just pop it whenever you kill someone. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it quickly refills, so the more you yeah. use, you know, the more and, you get out of it, yeah. But the same also with Killjoy, like, Killjoy is a little more situational to use your ult, you don't want to just pop it any random round, especially if you guys are just going to win. But try to be in the mindset of, if you have your ult, try to think of how you can use it for any agent. Right. So, because it's, like you said, as soon as you use it, it starts recharging again. Even when you die, you get one point. So if you're dying with your ult, then... You're wasting potential charge to get another ult. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so now you get control of sight. Your team is pushing out. You clear under. Maybe make sure they're not here. Where do you go from here? Would you stay up here, by uh, the way? Yeah, I just stay up there. I usually don't jump in. Okay, that's good. Um. Yeah. So you do have another trip here. Well, where would you put it? Um. So like, I've never actually put any trips here because both of my trips are on flank, right? Oh, you have a... Where'd you put the second one? Oh, the second one is towards the other side. Oh, over... Yeah. Oh, over here? Somewhere? Here. Here. Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, okay, that's perfect then. This is... This is pretty ideal. I haven't played Cypher in this map, but that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I'm not so sure. I put one over here, I take the rope, and I go to the other side. I, I don't put it here. Uh, I put it here, yeah. Like okay. right where you're standing, yeah, right over here. Yeah, this is fine. Either, either one seems quite good. Um, yeah. So obviously this is good because the only way that they can come now without a trip being broken is through yeah. here or here. And yeah. so as long as your team knows this, this is really really good. And obviously these trips will likely get broken. Mainly this one because people like to come from this way. I feel like more than this way. Yeah. But and I tell my team most of the times, or they'll hear it, right? The gunshot, or you know, the jet yeah. or whatever. And then, like, 
Still watching. Uh, another cam I saw, I don't know. Oh, yeah, that's a nice boy. Something like this. I saw this in like a pro game. This is kind of crazy. Um, cause I think this is better for defending though, cause you can kind of see like here, and you can see here. So. Yeah, yeah. So you can put, you can watch both aim in and dash. Yeah. Um. So also, I just thought of another. One. We can come back to A, but for B, I saw a cipher put a cam up here. Somewhere, somehow, I'm not sure exactly where. Placing these can be kind of weird sometimes. I guess like that. Mm -hmm. mm. I don't know if that's good, but I think it is good. It's just like, cause you can see this, so they can't get up there. And then the yeah. cypher would play up here and. Yeah, I, I generally never play B with cypher while I'm defending, so. Yeah, that's that's fine. Yeah. It's all preference, but um, let's talk about it just in case you, sh cause like sometimes your team will stack toward A and then, for example, mm -hmm. and then, you know, you can't really, yeah, you don't really know what to do. Though. Yeah. Yeah. The only reason I play is uh, it's because I'm unfamiliar with the uh, knowing some stuff really. Yeah. So we can talk about it. Um. So that's a cam. I don't know if that's a super great one. I don't play much cipher, but again, you can be right. creative each round. Mm -hmm. Um. So again, if we're thinking about the trips, if we're attacking, or if we're, yeah, if we're attacking, and you get sight, you can put one like this. You can just mirror how you do these. So you can put one yeah. like here or. I, I put it in the very uh, beginning, yeah. usually. Yeah, so this is fine. So you have the most time to tell your team before they can make it too far. Uh, I meant, you know, towards the ropes. Oh, okay. Right at the beginning of it. Yeah. With this, like, usually they can pull up and without triggering, they can kill a person, right? Yeah, this is good because, yeah, again, like... Yeah, I put it here. So then, if they break it, you'll have more time to tell your team. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. So... The one thing I could see about this trip, one downside is that they can come from under yeah. here and sneak through, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. rarely happens, even in like Radiant Immortal. No, That's... it happened to me. Oh, it, does it? it Maybe. It happened to me, yeah. yeah. Maybe it happens so, more in um, lower ranks. I don't know. but Like, it happened once and it caught me off guard. Like, so it happened on the other side. Oh, okay. Yeah, so they went this way. Yeah. 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 So... Um, so yeah, if you if you think that's happening in your game, you can swap it from here to here, and then you yeah, fix that problem. But that's a good trip for the most part. So other one, would you trip this side? No, uh, I'll put it at the very beginning. Like, yeah, under the slope, yeah, right here. Okay, these seem fine to me. I I don't see what, any trouble with these at all. Yeah, because like really they can't. They're not gonna. Yeah. That's really weird if they do that. If they break this, then you know that they can, that they can come around uh, yeah. under here and flank. Yeah. But other trips, if we want to think about that, if you want to play like a little bit more of a, you can always put them like here. You can put it here. Really, it's up to you. And then cams is up to you. So one really good. Uh, let's see, is it like this? I don't know actually. But one really good spot is like this. This is a really good spot for defending. Okay. Because if they come up here... Mm -hmm. Oh, let's talk about defending trips, because this is attacking. So where'd you put your trips on defense? Kind of like this, maybe? Uh, I never played over here, but if I would do it, I'd probably put it on the stairs, right? While pushing up. Oh, like this? Yeah. Yeah, something like this. Because, like... Like the spot where you were putting for right, it's usually smoked off. People usually tend to walk up there, right, and then they can hear it and they break it. So I'll probably put it at places where they expect it. Yeah, something like this. Yeah, this is this is nice actually, because I you know they're always gonna come up here. And another thing, so on cipher for any map, just mm -hmm. combining your uh these whatever they're called the cages with the trips yeah is yeah. really good because you can pop it whenever you hear yeah. them and then. By the time they're inside of it, they're going to hit your trip, and you can just shoot them through it, and they have no chance of killing you for the most part. And, right. um, yeah, so this is good. You can just use that strategy on this side, since you don't usually defend here, if you have to defend here. Yeah. Um, the one thing about this trip I, that's kind of awkward yeah. is that if you don't put it here, that they can walk yeah. up through here without being trapped, so. Mm -hmm. Maybe put an additional one. Nah. Yeah. Yeah. 
something like that. But then again, yeah, there's no, there's a very, uh, very slim chance that they're gonna make it through doing this, <laughs> unless they're purposely yeah. doing it. But you can always swap up your trips. So that's for this side. If you wanna stack, you can put your trips like that, and then have a cam like this, and then see if they're sneaking up. And then you can play up, up here and like play this side since you have no trips over here, okay. or you can watch like this. Um, but so let's look at trips for this side maybe. So there's always this one I suppose for defending. Hmm. Actually, don't know where's the uh, barrier start at here. I think it's like uh, back there. It's all the way out there, yeah. Yeah. So this is good. Um, up there is also good. This is actually that one's a really good one if I think about it because. People love to come up here sometimes to try to sneak in behind, and they just can't do that with this one here, so. But I think playing up here is probably the best place for you to play a Cypher on this side. Because it's kind of, you're like anchoring the, the site pretty well. Yeah. You can also play like... Yeah, and there's good. Um, this is more kind of like CT on Ascent though, so this is becoming more passive because you're giving up the site a little more because they can come from here, here. Uh, yeah, but I suppose yeah. if you have the right trips and cam, then it, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this spot right here I was trying to tell you is really good. Um, yeah, that it, canteen is really good if, uh, if you have a teammate playing towers, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you can play off of your trips over here. Yeah, exactly. Really good. Yeah. This is a spot I use almost every game on this map, is sitting right here. You can crouch or you don't have to. Okay. And so if you hear them, okay. you're usually going to hear them. They're going to make a lot of noise like here, the run up. And then right. when they start coming in, you have the trip. Uh, wherever you, you have it, and then you can pop this, and then you swing out like this because you're completely in cover, and you have this trip, and you shoot them through the thing because they'll likely be hitting your trip right here. Right. So, um, yeah, um, I don't know. I think that's pretty good for this site. There's other trips you can throw, but again, that's just like being creative. This one's really good if you need to put one there. This is alright. Uh. Yeah, so I, I, we didn't talk about defending this site, so we'll go back here real quick. So how would you defend here? Yeah. So here, uh, I put both the trips very close to me. Uh, I play in this inside the site, right? So mm -hmm. I, I put one over here, yeah. Put the drop. Put the like drop close here or here? Ah, no, no, no. Put the oh. drop from the dish. Oh, here, okay. In a dish. Yeah. Uh, no, 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 not over there. Like, uh, to, towards your left, you have some boxes, right? Yeah. Uh, no, not those. Behind you. The ones behind you right now. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll put it that way. Close to the left, yeah. So they'll drop down and then they walk towards the side, yeah. At the very edge. Okay. Yeah. So that when they, yeah. And I'll, uh, I'll pair it with a cage under it. So when they drop down, cage three. Yeah. yeah. They usually unsuspectingly drop down and then they trigger it. Yeah, this is not. Them. This is definitely not bad. Um. This is kind of, I think, like, uh, this is good for a few times again, but this is one of those trips that once they get caught by it once, they're going to start to try to avoid it. So, yeah, because sure, like, because sure. yeah. some of the time, like, you'll drop and then you might land straight on it, but then if they know you put it in that exact spot, maybe put it, like, over here to the right more or something, or just swap it up mm -hmm. completely. Like, I think this one's actually pretty good. Nah, actually, yeah, yeah. you want to put it back farther because they can peek, they can sit, like, right here and just sit right behind the wire, which is always not good. Yeah, yeah. They, they can take up space, yeah. Yeah, so this is this is awkward because if they hit it once, then they can like literally just jump over it and then kill you. But if you have a cam, then you'll know they're going to do that, I guess. So, yeah, that's like, one. I, I do that for as long. Like, till the first time that they get caught in it, and after that, I switch it up. I don't do that again. Good. Yeah, that's good. So I would say like this one's really good just as like a, a general one. Uh, or okay. just put it a little deeper so that they can't be up here hugging the wire and, and looking over. Mm -hmm. Um, and where is the barrier another, here? Uh, it's, it's all the way out there. Okay, yeah, so, you, so you could probably put a trip like, could you put one here? Or no? No, I, I can't. I can't come out at this far. Yeah. Okay. Still here, yeah. This, this oh, okay, okay. So like here is somewhere. I don't know if you yeah. want to put one there, but one that does come to mind is... The door one, right? Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, definitely one like this. This is this is really strong. Uh, yeah. This prevents this whole area without you being able to know first. So. 
that one and this one, these are really good. And then this one's a good situational one. You can do some other cheese ones, like throwing them on the ground like this is good sometimes. Even though they can jump over it, they won't expect it when they're coming out. Yeah. So if you like to play up here... Oh, I didn't even know this was like a spot right here. It's not a very yeah, good that, spot. That's but... a really good spot, yeah. Oh, is it? Okay. I just yeah. play this sometimes, yeah. Yeah, this is, this is nice. Um, But you can sit here and then... You can also sit back here and play off of that trip. Mm -hmm. And if they hit it, you have a cage. And... Yeah, you just kill them through it. Yeah. Oh, I put one near the stairs, sometimes. A trip or a cage? Oh, the trip. Yeah, something like that, and then I'll throw a cage. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. Most of the time, they trip it, yeah. Yeah, they yeah. They yeah, they're dead. And just swapping up, like, these things and combining them with, uh, cages can get you a lot of free kills, uh, like, even right here. But again, it's all about figuring out like what what is good and like not using it too frequently because then they'll catch on to you. Mm -hmm. um, so where would you play? For we'll talk about spots and then we'll wrap it up. Uh, so for the most part, I play uh, under the side, inside. Like I hide behind this pillar. Yeah, I'll have a cam out. That's most most of the time uh, watching fish, right? Uh, so from like up here, fish. somewhere, or up uh, there. Yeah, like behind you. I'll put it behind you. Here. Yeah, there or to the wall. Okay. To yeah. It doesn't matter as long as I understand where it's watching. So it watches kind of like here, ish. Uh, like. Or a little deeper. It watches both a main and ish, like. Oh, okay. So like here. Here. Huh. Like, on the opposite wall, the wall right in front of you. No, not that one. To your right. Here. Yeah, over there. Okay, I, the I top, forgot to take my to... cam. Yeah. Um, so yeah. I, I put it over there and I, I'll be on my cam watching this and A main, like, alternating between them. And, you know, when I see them coming, I fall back, keep it into the side and play it safe. Yeah. This is cool. Um. I would maybe look for a cam that's a little better for a main, because you can see this wall right here is kind of blocking. Uh, uh, I put it up top. Like, oh, okay. You see those... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Things, right? No, not that. Like, what I do is I climb onto the top of the side, right? Huh, somewhere like that, yeah. But inside them. Oh, inside of them. Okay. Sorry, it's kind of hard yeah. to... Oh, this is yeah, nice. Yeah, this is a good spot, yeah. I, I do that. Yeah, this, this is, is nice. Good. This is nice. Yeah. Okay, so I'm not worried about your cameras. I think your cams are good. But yeah, so this is a good spot. It's good that you play around. This is kind of like playing around Killjoy turret. You can treat mm -hmm. Killjoy uh, turret kind of like this camera. So you play passive here on site. You want to anchor site because you're a sentinel. And then you can watch like this and like this. Um, and yeah, so usually you'll have someone else like up here watching this area. And you do have a trip. You should have a trip for that, honestly. I would suggest if you're playing site, I would almost always put a trip right there. Alright. And then, it depends, depending on where you want to, like, watch, uh, you can either put a trip, uh, here or up here somewhere. So if you want to play more toward up there, then you can put a trip over here and play up there. Or you can play here and put a trip up there. Uh, and, and it kind of balances everything out for you. Right. So for the most part, I use my cam to see if anyone is pushing this, right? So yeah. I, I use my other trip for a main or, you know, to play some... I'll put yeah. it in a cheeky spot. Like that yeah, one. I'll use it to kill a player, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's a good. You can do that too. As long as you have eyes on everything and someone can't mm. slip through. Um, And for B, I'll show you quickly what spots I like to play. I told you this one. Yeah. You can also sit yeah. here, but this one's a little bit... Obviously, don't play in the corner, you know, off angles, so kind of like this. Hmm. And then if you want to put your trip and then put stuff like this whenever they're coming up, shoot them through it and then maybe try to come up here and play around it like yeah. this and sneak into here. I don't know. Um, but this is a little more risky. This is less risky and it's a little bit better. Canteen is good, like you said. Mine here is okay, but not. A, this isn't as good for a cypher because it's kind of a little risky. You can also sit right here. Don't hold this, but wait and listen, see if they're running up. And if they're running up, you can peek out after they're run up, because you'll shoot them yeah. in the side of the head, most likely. Right. 
Um, okay. And yeah, I, th I definitely think you can get a diamond within like a couple weeks. Uh, you should keep me Hopefully. updated. Yeah, I believe in you for sure. You got it. And you know, let, let me know if you have any other uh, questions or things. Because obviously we only went over two maps, so there's other things that you still have to learn. But these rules yeah. you can apply to most maps and, uh, you know, yeah, so. Some maps are even easier, like Bind is a little, e is, <laughs> it's much easier than this map to figure out what you gotta do, because this is just like crazy, chaotic sometimes, it's literally everywhere, you, like, you don't know where you can come from. Bind is just like, you pick B site or A site, mostly B site, and then you know where they're gonna yeah. come from, and you just play like that. Uh, I usually play Smoker on Bind for the most part. So. That's really good, honestly. It's, controller is good. So that can be maybe your third pick as a controller, and then maybe Kozai Cypher or one of those two and something else. I don't know. Like, m mostly on Indian servers, like, people are good with Sentinels, but the Smokers are really bad. So, yeah, I believe that. A lot of yeah. Smokers are just not very good. Um, yeah, so... Uh, 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 like I'm kind of fed up with them, so I started learning Astro because Astro is definitely where it's at. If you're gonna learn, because she's probably one of the hardest agents, but she's also one of the highest skill cap. So true, true. Like, she has so many very... abilities, so many smokes she can use. True, true. And they refill very fast too. So. Yeah, and also Chamber is very good, but if that's not your play style, then that's fine. Um, because he is a little different yeah. than Killjoy and Cipher. True. But again, it's like about picking of... just three or four of them, so, yeah. yeah. I'll definitely do that, like, I'll narrow my... Yeah, you can selection. just, like, like write them down or, like, go into a custom game and think about what you would optimally use in most games, or most maps. I know you said you like Yoru. It could be an off pick for you. It's okay to have picks outside of your main three or four, just don't lock those the majority of the time. Only lock those if you, you know, if the other picks okay. are already taken or the other rules are filled in the game. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sage, obviously a good pick for something like Icebox. Um, uh, I pick Sage for Haven as well. Like, especially on defense. Like, I just wall B. And... Yeah, that's that's good. And you can wall Garage. Walling Garage basically prevents people from coming Garage because you can do, like, the, the wall that goes straight through the crack. And they have to break, Ooh, like, right. three segments of the wall before they can come in. Or they have yeah, to that's for a it. good wall, too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then a walling A or B is kind of not great, yeah, but it's, yeah. Yeah, it's stupid, yeah. Yeah, but walling B and now garage, I think, yeah, it's a great way. Like, it reduces the amount of uh, places that you have to, you know, guard, kind of. Yeah, exactly. Look out. And then you yeah. can just kind of leave unless they start breaking it immediately. True. Um, in higher rank games, the problem with that is that people will say, like, if personally, I'll, if I see wall say just walling mid every single round, or walling B, I'll say, mm -hmm. let's break the mid, uh, let's break the wall, guys, like, as soon as the round starts, and then everyone will break it, and then your wall doesn't mean anything anymore, right. so you still have to play on B. So if they are doing that, yeah. you gotta try to s use your wall a little more creatively. Again, yeah, it yeah. seems like creativity is really important for Sentinels, because for Duelists, it's kind of just, I mean, it is, you have to be creative on Duelists as well, but not to the extent of, like, placing all your abilities and figuring out what's the, b the best thing to do, but mm -hmm. I think you have a lot of potential. Oh, also, your aim. Remember... I think you should just download AimLab or use Kovacs, like, 10 minutes a day. Uh, it's only 10 minutes, it's not that long, and it should improve your aim a significant amount over the course of, like, a week. If you want to, if you, the more you practice, the quicker you, you'll improve your aim. Um, okay. I, as Sentinel, obviously, you don't, your aim isn't the most important thing in the world, but right. it is, it is a factor, so. Okay. Yeah, um. Yeah, got it. Okay, any final questions for wrap-up? Mm, I think that's it. Like you taught me a lot of things. Ben. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're very welcome. I hope I really hope you get uh, diamond one soon. You get your peak, your new peak. Thank but you. yeah, keep up, uh, keep me updated, and yeah, uh, have a good day. Talk to you soon. Sure. Have a good day. Bye. Bye bye. <clears throat> um. So yeah, guys, if you made it this far again. Please subscribe if you guys want coaching yourself. Leave a comment with your Discord tag in the description or in the comments. I always say that for some reason. And yeah.